because it's been brought to my attention there are some questions or maybe misguided concerns pertaining to some of our holiday events and uh, directly related to this post that you see right here that was published on the community page. Now some of you have spoken up with questions, expressions of concern, simply reacted. Others have spoken in support. But like I said, it was brought to my attention this morning and I feel that it's important that I respond to you directly. Okay guys, that's uh, line number one. So I actually asked for this data back in March. The city secretary, you know how they do it. It took time to get it back to me, but this is over the James Avery stuff. So Chief's known about it for over a month and he's just now doing something about it because we keep asking questions and they have yet to send me the expense report. They want to charge me now for the expense report, even though 2023's data was free. 2022's data, the chief wants to charge me. With that said, the AG says if it's about transparency and it's something that can be good for the people to know, don't charge us. What's he doing? Trying to charge us. Why? Criminal. Brands is passed. So what do we do during the holiday season? We have primarily three holiday events that we try to promote within the community. Those are Cops for Tots Toy Drive. If you recall, that was began by Sergeant Dennis Anders many, many years ago, before I even came to the community. We do a holiday meal drive, also started by Sergeant Anders. And then we participate in the Shop with a Cop program, which is a nonprofit organization out of the Corpus Christi area. <clears throat> Shop with a Cop is not affiliated with the meal drive or Cops for Tots. We collect funds leading up to the holiday season for Cops for Tots and our holiday meal drive from people that are willing and gracious enough to provide those funds. Ask for the uh, receipts. <laughs> Instead of getting receipts, and you can see April 4th, so she's known about this for a long time. He's a lioness, it'll be like I told you. Anyway, <clears throat> I asked for the Amex for 2022. His Amex card, right? And he's going around buying stuff for donation accounts off his Amex card, which I don't understand at all, and telling us that these donations are paying back his Amex. Well, if you're not spending money for the city, sir, then why are you spending money on an Amex, which belongs to the city, even if you allegedly say you were paying it back? You're still spending our money. Okay. With that said, what I want to cover right now is what he's talking about right here. Toy drive for tots. So his excuse for this James Avery bracelet is that it's coming from donations from the Holiday Mill Drive. Well, nobody from the Holiday Mill Drive needs a James Avery bracelet. Public events such as National Night Out. Well, that makes sense if you're buying a James Avery bracelet for your girlfriend, Miss Diaz. But what you're trying to say is you bought it for a toy drive event. But you're saying toy drive event here, sir. You're not talking about what you said. You're not talking about a Cops for Tots. You're talking about a toy drive. Why wouldn't you put Cops for Tots on here? Well, I know why you, you did that. So I couldn't specifically ask for that donation. And if I say toy drive events, it's generic and you don't have to provide it. I know how you play you SOB and I'm boom. Now that I have the data, I specifically asked for toys for Tots donation for 2022. And remember the JAG says that it's for transparency. It should be free. And Chief Blanchard all over his public post that he made talks about transparency and he's here for the city. Let's see if he writes me back and tries to charge me $6,000 for this so I can't prove that he's a criminal, that SOB. Typically, they are the same people that are donating year after year. They believe in our community, they believe in the mission of the police department, and they believe in our children. So how are these funds divided and spent? Very simply, we'll get cash donations, we'll get check donations when those monies come in, we have a record or a receipt that's written for them. Those monies go into uh, an account to where they're held. And then when the expenses are made, they're made on a credit card, again, for accountability and transparency. And then the funds from those donations are moved to cover those credit expenses. We try not to receive cash if we can avoid it, but occasionally there has been times to where we're in public, we're shopping for the kiddos, and we do get cash donations from people that 
that applaud that effort during the holiday season. Occasionally, there have been times where we'll spend that cash during that transaction right up front, but we really frown on that, and we also do try to follow that up later on with a receipt if we know the person. Sometimes we don't know, and people don't wish to be known for their donations. These records have been requested already. Some of the records have been released, and you've probably seen those records already online. Let me pull this up for you. Um, as you can see here, this is one of the explanations when the first request went out that I offered, and somebody screenshotted this, but I will be releasing that with this video later. And in addition, the credit card transactions from my city assigned Amex card for I believe an entire year or even longer was requested. That was also released. And some have said, well, we would like more information now. We want to see snapshot guys. I'm the one that requested this data and it's for the whole year. I requested this data because in 2023 he stole $1,247 for a suit. So I had to see what he stole in 2022. You can see all kinds of weird purchases, HEB $1,500, HEB $1,500 in the same day for an even number and amount. Hmm. Best Buy, what'd we buy in Best Buy for $1,219? Bath and Body Works, what'd we buy? Barnes and Nobles, what'd we buy? James Avery, what did, why did we spend $882 at James Avery? Old Navy, what's going on? So this is the police chief here, guys. We have other people that can go out and handle these donation things and do them the right way with receipts. There's no way of telling what this man actually bought and paid for until we get those receipts. And then once we get those receipts, guess what? Kerry Shrugs is going to get on there and say, this man can just pay back all that money he stole. Oh, my Lanta. See the money in, money out. Well, those record requests are underway. If they are satisfied for the amount of time that staff will have to plan working on uh, confidential redactions, compiling and researching that information, then those records will go public as well. I don't know how anybody can still believe in this lying SOB. I mean, I call him out, I post it, and I show you that he's a lying SOB. <clears throat> With that said, he talks about transparency. If we request it, he's going to give us the data. Well, guys, I asked for specifically about five months worth of data. That five months is emails that say my name or my gym's name. When I did this prior for five months, it cost me 300 and something dollars. When I did these, because there's incriminating data on there, and I know it, he's charging me almost $6,500 for it. Guess how many hours he's saying this is going to take? Eight and a half weeks. I'm sorry, but I've got a secretary that could do this in 10 hours, and he's trying to tell us it could take eight and a half weeks to get this done. He's full of crap. We use search engines nowadays. This guy is full of shit. <clears throat> anyway, back to the suit. They made him pay that back, guys. If it was legal, he wouldn't have to pay this back. $1,247, he has to payroll deduct and pay that suit back. Now, he talks about transparency. He's going to let stuff go, right? And let's let it all out. Let's show everybody. Steve Blanchard right here, when I asked for his wage deductions for other stuff he had to pay back for the last five years, guess what he did? He blocked me. He's blocking me from the data from the AG. But that's a tedious process, time consuming, consuming and costly on staff. Anybody can request those records. We get many records requests each and every day, potentially, and throughout the year. And we remain committed to accountability and transparency to our community. Chief Blanchard, City Council, Terry Shrugs, all of them. They're all pieces of shit. This is a really good friend of mine that asked for the annexation data. Look how much money they're trying to charge us so they can understand why we got sued for $1.8 million. Do you believe these SOBs want to be transparent? Just to tell you, um, this past holiday season, we received in right around $19,500 for the 2023 holiday season for the Cops for Tots and the Meal Drive program. Occasionally, when funds are left over, we will support shop with a cop if we have those available funds and it's earmarked for Aransas Pass kiddos I, within the ISD is our area that we try to serve on all these programs. Shop with a cop is no way affiliated with buying toys or gifts that are handed out directly to kids. Their program or from our 
programs. Their program is prim primarily getting cops to go along at Walmart and shop with the kiddos that are in need. And that's our involvement. Anything above or beyond that, we have no involvement with that program. So in 2022, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's the year where these James Avery, Barnes and Noble, Best Buy, and Bath and Body Works transactions happen. Uh, we had a, a, a nice amount of funds that came in. Those funds are used primarily, first thing, holiday meals. We got to make sure that families get a holiday meal when they're in need for that holiday season. Two, any leftover funds then are used to shop for the kids and the families that are in need during the Christmas season that are left out. Most Boys and girls, <laughs> this is off the APPD page. The Rangers Pass Police uh, Holiday Funds money collected will be used for meals for Christmas, toys, essential needs for supported families. Y'all see anything in here about spending 800 and something dollars? I mean, on an essential J. Avery bracelet? I didn't think so. Now, let's call this bluff again. This lady right here claims to be the executive director of Shop with Cops. She says they serve the San Patricio, Clayburg, and Oasis areas. Nonprofit, they assist. They are not associated with law enforcement activities for providing items or funds for kids. We do not buy items at James Avery or Bath and Body Works. Chief Blanchard, eat it. Well, don't you know that other kids are starving in Japan? So eat it. Just eat it. Those people that donate toys to us, they, they donate to the kids that are small, not the tweens, not the teens. We very rarely see gifts like that. And I know that some people were raised more fortunate than others. I had a silver spoon in my mouth growing up. I've been very blessed. Great family, great parents. I'm <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Followell, you are nothing but a terroristic instigator. Defamation. Wow, that is defamation, actually. And I hope yeah. and pray that you sue the fuck out of her, too. So it's illegal for her to get up there at that stand and defame and talk people. Talk to you and talk and to you. And they let address, her. And not address the board. That's started. correct. And, yeah, that's council. correct. And it's okay. Of course it is, because that's Chief's, mm -hmm. I'm his mom. Of oh, course yeah. How embarrassing to have your mother come up there and talk. You How know, old is he? <laughs> he is 43 or 44. After oh. this video, I punked him about mama's boy for about a month. And since then, he's lost about 120 pounds. Wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Either stress or because I was punking him. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. Scripture yep. coming to scripture. You know what? Your son is a corrupt piece of shit, Mrs. Yes, uh, ma'am. What what is his name again? Blanchard. Uh, Blanchard. Blanchard. Miss Miss Mrs. Blanchard. You raised an asshole. Okay. An asshole who cannot have any accountability whatsoever. And he's a criminal. Your your son is a criminal, Miss Blanchard. So take your I'm not even gonna listen to her scripture here, Jason. Because that I wouldn't either. I it's don't boring. It, it's 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 not even just that it's boring. It is a tragedy that she would use the Bible to That's sit right. there and while she just called you a fucking terrorist for standing yep. up again for your rights. Yep. They actually attacked her for that later on. Everybody in town said it was complete BS. Good. Good. <clears throat> Do you have any footage of that? I'd love to see it. I but do not. That's just everybody talking on Facebook. There's screenshots and stuff. I'm glad. I'm glad that people stood up and said something because how 
dare you bring out the mm -hmm. scripture after you're telling some guy that hey you're you're a terrorist because you're standing up against some corrupt police officers that's disgusting yep. that is yep. disgusting you are you are abusing your christianity and your faith Amen. It's just like Fanny Willis going up and saying, how dare you accuse me of having an affair? I'm a black woman. How dare oh, they boy. do this to a black woman at the pulpit? She's at the pulpit in a church saying the only reason why they're coming after me is because I'm a black woman. No, mm -hmm. you slept with a married man and then mm -hmm. hired him to prosecute President Trump is what you did. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, piece of shit. I cannot stand people. I love my Christian faith. I love my fellow Christian, but I'll tell you what, I do not love people when they use and abuse religion like that as a weapon. She's using it as a weapon that turned my stomach. That's just, it's gross. Yeah. And I had some really nice toys this year. I felt like our tweens and teens needed some nice gifts for the holiday season. In fact, some of my heavy donors agreed. So we decided to go to James Avery. We got these charm bracelets, which were very popular, and they had these awesome pig charms. So I purchased, I believe, all of those pig charms. So uh, a teen or tween female would get a charm bracelet with a charm mounted onto that bracelet. That's one example. Barnes and Noble, we bought books, Legos, and other toys that they have there. Bath and Body Works were kind of, uh, creative products for uh, uh, the kiddos, like as far as like body wash, stuff like that, the stuff that they sell there, and Old Navy, nicer clothing. And we then take everything we buy, everything we receive in donation, and we team up with a local church that's been involved with us for the past many years. Again, maybe even before I started here, or maybe not. I believe there was another party that started first. And that organization receives the families in need as they apply through the police department. And then they and their team divvy out the gifts that are most age appropriate and available. Oftentimes, again, we will find that we run out of tweens and teen related gifts. And that's why the team and I go shopping for those gifts with these donated funds. Uh in this team go shopping they go shopping on our dime and we have one of the highest crime rates in the united states guys our crime rate is terrible because our police chief is a piece of shit and he'd rather be going out buying james avery allegedly for small children even though he just said it's for adolescents but i will note that stephanie diaz does have a nice james avery bracelet she wears in sports Anyway, the crime rate is terrible, and this guy's off on a shopping spree. Y'all remember that. For example, 2023, we served 119 families a holiday meal. We served 317 children presents for the Christmas season they otherwise would not have enjoyed. These programs and your generous continued funds over the many years, those of you out there that have contributed, make this effort possible and we will continue to maximize those funds and serve the kiddos of our community going forward, I certainly hope. Now, what you also need to understand is when we shop for these kiddos, we participate in sales, coupons, law enforcement discounts, other incentivized programs. We maximize that money to stretch it as far as we can for the benefit and blessing of our community and our community kiddos. No staff on my department has profited, and to make such a suggestion or hint is disgusting. Moving along, there's been questions about a volunteer receiving a discretionary offering of a gift card. The gift card, I believe we gave out two years in a row. One year was $500, I don't remember the second. And this was because Mary, that volunteer, and she's allowed me to share this little bit of history, so I will. Her husband passed away in 2020. She lives here in Aransas Pass, and she said she needed to find a purpose. So she came to the police department, which isn't uncommon for elderly folks if they're single and they want to find something to do other than sit at home. In Mary's own statement, she said, and I quote, 
the city of AP, Aransas Pass Police Department, has done more for me, I feel, than I've done for them. But let me tell you what Mary did for us, because Mary has been here, like I said, since 2020. She is the most committed volunteer employee I've ever seen volunteering time. Many times she would work almost a Monday through Friday eight to five job. Now she comes in and she works mostly evenings because she gets more done and it's more convenient for her to spend her evening times here at the office. We had a pursuit to go paperless back in 2020 and actually before. Any organization out there that's ever taken their business paperless probably knows the costs associated. Well, Mary committed her time to our records and our files and getting them paperless online, backed up, indexed, so that they could be preserved and found. We have records from the past that used to get stored in paper and got destroyed. We don't want our records being destroyed because sometimes many years down the road, the community needs to find access to some of those historical records. We wanna do our part to make sure they're available. We wanna cut out the waste of paper and we wanna streamline the process of responding to requests for information, whether it be for the community, the prosecutor or whoever. Transparent line SOB. Keep records my ass. So here, this is back in 2023, I wanted to see the sewer line clean out of the bakery cafe because Ram Gomez used to utilize our city employees to clean out his drainage after he clogged it from all the stuff from his bakery. We paid for that, guys. I know we did. Anyway, I sent that request and oops, somebody went backwards and they sent me this. So they wanted me to pay for it. $576 they wanted me to pay for. They said it was going to take them almost a week to get this data, right? Well, I didn't have the money to pay that, and it wasn't high on my agenda, so I kind of forgot about it, to tell you the truth. But about a year later, I came back and asked for it again. And when I did, Mary sent me this. So I heard back from Public Works uh, 2015, was before David's time as Public Works Director. This is, this is David. And possibly before Fernando's time in Public Works. Uh, he started in 2015, Public Works. Keeps work records for only two years. See that? They keep them for only two years. Well, that's a blatant lie because they had them. See it? But then when I ask for them again and I'm actually going to pay for the data, they don't. So Robert replied back with that strange, you used to have them, what happened to them now kind of thing. So Chief Blanchard, you're lying SOB. Mary got us there, saving us thousands potentially of dollars. I think as a small token of appreciation, a menial $500 gift card and maybe three to $500 the next year is that small token of appreciation. I Chief Blanchard, so you're telling everybody in the community that that $500 gift card went to somebody named Mary. I asked for it. I'm the guy. You can blame it on me. I love transparency. You don't. With that said, y'all told me, coming from you guys, the volunteer's name who received that $500 gift card was Steph. Which Steph is a nickname. Guess what your officer's nickname is? It has that James Avery bracelet. Oh, you call her Steph. How ironic. Her legal name is Steph. That seems odd. No response from you guys. At I should have been an attorney. I'm so good at this shit. Chief Blanchard, you're a moron. I put this on Facebook and tagged you, Rance Fest Police Department, so I know you read it. And it says, I love AP. Chief Blanchard can simply give away $500. And you gave away $500 to a Steph. So the city sent me Steph, I put it on Facebook, Steph, and in your moronic fucking ass, forgot what you lied about. And just would give her more. In fact, my entire tenure since I've been in Aransas Pass has helped, has been built on helping the employees to live well, get the benefit and blessing they have so that they can fulfill the mission of the department, improve quality of life of the community, and bolster relationships, close community relationships with our partners within the community, residents and businesses, and everybody that comes to enjoy our saltwater heaven here in South Texas. And I tell you what, it works. A happy employee provides a happy service to the community they serve. Target people, they saw another dog from another owner wasn't arrested. This guy's gonna get arrested for a class C, complete BS.
I mean, they, they, and the officer's all coked up. No wonder uh, Chief Blanchard thinks his guys are happy. Yeah, camera. they're on the drugs they get from the bakery. Just reflect back. 2012, when I started here, we had no relationship with the community. We weren't fulfilling the mission of public service, public safety. I'm not going to elaborate in detail. I have already before. I will let the community who can remember and reflect speak to that and those improvements. No, okay. Oh, it is. They're fucking corrupt as fuck, dude. Okay. And they're well, we're going to finish our inspection. You're not, they're not coming in my building. Not based on this. No, this is for outside and a key lock outside. We're what do they need to see in my building? Go ahead. To, we have to finish the inspection. Okay. No, the inspection is done. What do you need to see in my building? That's all I need to know. He's going to inspect the building. He's going he to inspect already inspected the building five he's times. Inspect the doors. That he can look at the lock spots outside and he can go at the trash outside. You don't okay. because you're going to let him in there and that's a Fourth Amendment right violation. Okay. If you, you let him in there, you're a piece of shit like them. Okay, I'm sorry that you have to relate that to that, but... I do. How do you not understand that? You took an oath to the Fourth Amendment. You're right. You took an oath to the Constitution. You're, right. you're going to let them come on my property for something outside of my property? We have then you're a piece of shit, sir. Okay. Back then I talked about we had a problem with block bullies. Block bullies that lived in pockets of our community that would terrorize their neighbors so that they could proliferate, pro proliferate their criminal activity. We worked closely and strategically with those community neighbors to root out those criminal miscreants and get them off the street and return peace and tranquility into the hands of those that lived around them. We continue to do that today. We now are faced with a threat through social media, online cyber warriors, and the misleading, twisting of individuals who buy into that. What I often try to reflect on is this illustration right here. One need not look very far to see what is going on through social media and across our fine nation. People are willing to fund and subscribe and jump into comforting lies, things that sensationalize, blow things out of proportion, and create divisive division. We are working so hard at dividing ourselves to take a stance this way or that way, as opposed to bringing ourselves as Americans together. It's disturbing, Aranza's past. And you can't remain silent. I can't remain silent watching what we're doing to destroy our country and our community and social media is doing it. And this illustration right here demonstrates what we are seeing. Sir, I'm not an American. I'm an American. I work out, take care of my body, take care of myself, physically fit, mentally fit. You're a fat slob piece of shit of a tyrant who deviates from the oath every single time he can because you are a fucking communist. Another example some feel as if they're on a soldier's journey to attack public safety. You see this all across the country. I'm in tune with it, I'm not in tune with Facebook because Facebook is cancerous in my opinion, uh, but I am in tune with news and current events across public safety around this great nation. And some people will stop at nothing to attack and destroy good public safety, good public service, police, fire, public works, anything within that realm of public service. In fact, not long ago, one individual propped up a military uh, veteran who was only a military veteran because he had stolen valor and used it to try to attack the good efforts of your Aransas Pass public safety team. Boy, I really get tired of that one. So that was me. I had a guy talk to me. He had two dogs, said they were service dogs. Uh, he showed me sir, he showed me records. He showed me pictures on the wall. He was a vet. I had other friends that went over there, showed us he's a vet, right? We did a background check in Louisiana. Louisiana showed back no criminal history. Now, I didn't know back then that Louisiana doesn't actually show outsources criminal history, so it came back negative. With that said, there still has been nothing happened to this guy, meaning that Chief Blanchard keeps saying stolen valor, but the guy's not prosecuted. So Chief Blanchard, do you care to explain that one? With that, you piece of shit, you're the one that hired the guy with no valor, not once, but twice. You did it. You even promoted him and put him, put him out at the port to work. You're a scumbag and a liar and a narcissistic piece of shit, and I'm fixing to show him.
people, checks and balances. You can go right to the PD page and look this up. This was uh, 2015. Anyway, anyway, this dumbass Chief Blanchard hired this cop, 2011. Uh, stolen Valor, he wasn't a vet. Uh, Chief Blanchard has way more resources than I do. All I can do is a, is a criminal background check in Louisiana, which, of course, if you go and look at that, Louisiana doesn't send that data out, so, of course, it came back negative. So, which I still don't even know, but whatever. I don't care, you know. I was there to help a man that needed help, and that's what I did, and I don't feel bad for it. With that said, <clears throat> I don't talk to that guy anymore because he burned me off, uh, quit talking to me, and he basically stole $1,000 from me because I did lend him $1,000 to get on his feet because I am that kind of man. Fuck you, Chief Blanchard. With that said, <clears throat> he came back. He came back in 2014 to work with Chief Blanchard again. So he had another background check. That's two done by Chief Blanchard, and the guy has stolen dollar. Uh, they made this guy, or they put this guy out by the port so he could work as the dive team because apparently this guy was a legend of a dive team guy in the in the military, and Chief Blanchard fell for it. Anyway, Chief Blanchard didn't talk about this because he's the one that hired the stolen dollar guy because he's a fucking moron. Thank you, Chief Blanchard. Don't fuck with me anymore, you piece of shit. And today, that same individual will post body cam footage of an honorable officer suffering an injury they received overseas while serving our great country honorably and will attack him as a drug user. Disgusting. Do you understand? Well, yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. So do you want to continue it to handle the professional way? Well, I did. I mean, okay. I'm written to you. Okay. Do you have your driver's license or ID on you? Why did I have the choice to you, sir? Because you're in violation of an animal at large. It's a city ordinance. You're in a private property, sir. Okay. So you want to go to the top. And very disturbing. Aransas Pass, we are the catalyst of change in this community. I hear from you regularly. There are a lot of good folks out there within this community but people choose and remain silent. You need to understand your silence right now, today, is consent for what is going on. The one and only thing you will ever hear me agree upon with Chief Blanchard. Your silent is, a, is terrible, guys. Like, quit being cowards. Y'all know what this man does to me. Y'all know what this man does to a lot of other people in town that are finally coming forward and stepping up. There's a council meeting Monday. Go up there and tell them how you really feel, guys. Don't be scared of these scumbags. And remember, y'all need to vote for Randy Hackins or we're going to keep having this coward in office. He's a scumbag and a piece of shit. And y'all know I'm right because I keep showing y'all. Everything he puts out, I actually show you the data and you can verifiably look at it and know that I'm the, not the liar and he's a non-transparent criminal piece of shit tyrant. There is no such thing as a silent majority. They cast their vote through their silence. For us to turn the tide improve the culture of our community and get to where many of us envision Aransas Pass being in the future, it takes all of us. And as our motto says on the police department website, we pride ourselves on strengthening close community partnerships. So where do we go from here, Aransas Pass? Where do we go from here? That choice remains forever in your hands and I am here to support you guys what Chief Blanchard said is spot on except for we need to stand against him and tyrants like him what these idiots do not understand is that every year we lose rights we lose rights because we voted and put people like him in power and what do they do take away our freedoms little by little that's right we have less and less freedoms every year our forefathers were free we are not but we could fight to be with that said, what this dumbass doesn't understand is that when he takes away our rights, he takes away his kids, his grandkids, his grand, 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 grandchildren all the way down, lose their rights because he's an idiot and he thinks that his little bit of power right now makes him God because he's a narcissistic dumbass while his great, great grandkids will be digging ditches with fucking collars on because of his moronic behavior. Stand with me.